Guys and welcome to another episode of The One Motorhome. This is the channel where we try to find the perfect layout, the perfect design, and basically the perfect motorhome for you. Today I'm going to be demonstrating this lovely Bailey. This one is a Bailey Approach Advance 665. Now, if you haven't already, do subscribe to the channel and remember to hit the bell icon so that you get notifications when I'm posting new videos. And also, if you've got any questions, leave a comment below. And of course, if you like the video, do click a thumbs up. It gives me a bit of inspiration. Um, as usual, we'll start the demonstration on the outside, so we'll have a good look around the exterior, and then we'll go inside, have a look at the layout, and I'll go through some of the technical details in there. But let's go. So starting off on the front, as I mentioned, Peugeot Boxer cab, 2.2 turbo diesel, 130 brake horsepower. Uh, the vehicle dimensions are just under seven meters in length and around 2.3 meters in width. Now on the side of the habitation here, we've got a really nice size Fiamma uh, canopy. So that's a, an awning which will roll out and you've got legs which will drop down. So you can obviously sit outside there, enjoying yourself, having a barbecue, maybe a few glasses of wine, things like that. Um, just inside here, that's where your gas bottles live. And I believe you can fit two six kilogram gas bottles in there, no problem at all. Uh, at the back of this one, you have got the rails for a bike rack, so you can quite easily clip a bike rack to the back of this. And you've got huge windows actually going all the way around the back here, uh, which I'll show you from inside uh, shortly. Uh, reversing camera just up on the top there, and then moving around the other side, this is where you fill up your fresh water and it's got pretty big tanks on this as well. And I'll put the dimensions of those tanks on for you. But what do you think to this fan, guys? It looks fantastic. It's under seven meters. And like I say, it is six berth. So just before we go inside, I just wanna say a big thank you to Choose Leisure Motorhomes in Canterbury for letting me demonstrate this vehicle. So if you are interested in this particular van, then do check out their website and there's a link in the description below. Also, if you are looking for uh, insurance, then do check out A-Plan Insurance. Again, there's a link below where you can get a free quotation. So do check that out. And remember guys, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and of course, click the thumbs up. So as we go into the habitation door, you'll notice it's very low down. So it's a low profile uh, chassis and you could literally just hop in there, no problem at all walking inside first thing you see and i've got to point it out is look at the seating area here so you've got one two three four traveling seats and this is a spectacular place to sit whilst you're traveling uh, but first of all let's have a look in the cab so this particular model is a six speed manual uh, it's got a multifunctional steering wheel cab air conditioning uh, lots and lots of going on here. You've got a reversing camera over on the side there. You've got plenty of space for keeping all your things. Glove box here, another one down there, and then also another little cubby hole on the top. Good thing about this actually, is you can basically turn the air con on and it will blast cool air in there. So if you've got chocolate or a bottle of drink in the summer, then that will keep it nice and cool. Um, both the seats, so the, uh, the passenger seat and the driver's seat, they do swivel around. So that makes really good use of that space. And you've got a concertina cab blind, which goes all the way across here. So that is great for privacy. On the side windows, you've got silver screens, which pop onto these poppers. And that's really easy, easy to use as well. Sorry, I've just bumped my head. Um, so yeah, cab's really great, really nice to drive. I've literally just driven this vehicle. It's very smooth um, and yeah, it's got plenty of power. So just shut the door there so it doesn't make any noise. So this is the kitchen area. So let's see what we've got here. So you've got a three-way fridge. So that's a fridge with a small freezer box at the top. And then to the right, we've got a grill and oven. Up top, of course, you've got your sink for doing your dishes and things. And you've got plenty of work surface in here, actually, for getting everything all prepared. And then underneath here, you've got three gas burners. If you fancy a microwave, then don't worry. We've got one in here. Um, and then just to the left, 
big cupboard space just there and then more cupboard space here as well and then going down i think this is where you keep your cutlery and things and then you've got a big cupboard underneath there too also for your pots and pans there's another little cupboard under there as well let's have a look and see if i can show you there we go you can fit plenty of stuff in there right so moving back to this area so let's have a look so here as i mentioned this is four traveling seats so you've got two in the front one two three four five six now this area actually converts into a double bed so if you can see there's a little elbow uh, join on the table that folds up the table drops down and then the cushions go all the way across this so that's a fantastic size bed um, just to give you an idea what the size of that is it's actually around 1.8 meters uh, by uh, just under a meter so six foot by three foot two at the top of this so just up here this is another uh, double bed so this one is an electric drop down bed which i'll show you later on with that working and basically what happens is this whole cupboard here actually comes down with the bed so the whole bed comes down very smoothly so you've basically got double bunk beds here which is great so looking from the front of the motorhome down towards the back you can really see how nice and spacious this is uh, there's lovely windows everywhere so we've got one here three at the back one here and then look at the roof look we've got one two three skylights going down there so you've got fantastic lights coming into this fan um as i mentioned earlier i think it's perfect for a family traveling so on a three and a half ton chassis so you can drive it on any license uh in here you've obviously got your toilet and shower so this is your toilet and then round to the right just up here let me just pop that up you've got your shower just there now to the left of me it's actually open at the moment but this cupboard here is very handy for keeping all of your toiletries and things and then just down below let's have a look there's also a handy little place there for keeping toiletries toilet roll and that sort of stuff electric flush uh thetford toilet and just here just to show you actually this is the ladder to get you into the electric drop down bed so that's conveniently located just there um, at the back i've actually put a load of stuff in here at the moment because obviously we're just quickly filming this but up here that is a rail for hanging all your clothes so this is a big wardrobe for hanging everything and you can just see that little pole there that's actually a digital tv aerial so this one has got a tv aerial on the roof at the back really nice rear shaped lounge and this is this is really the big selling point for me i mean you've got this area here look at the view all the way around so you can just sit here relaxing chilling out and just to the back side here this is where you'd have your tv so you've got a 12 volt point two plug points and you've got a little bracket on there just to put your television um up top we've got lots and lots of storage so storage all the way through and then that goes all the way around actually look at that plenty of storage in here nice little reading lights at the back and the feet the, the, the color of this file actually the way it looks it's really cool i have to say and um, this also converts into a big double bed and uh, let me just give you the dimensions of that actually so the rear double bed is over two meters so 2.05 centimeters um, and it's 1.6 or roughly 1.6 meters in width so around six foot nine by five foot three so that is a fantastic size bed very easy to make as well so basically see if i can do it with one hand you pull this like that and then pull that back like so and then these cushions basically drop down in place so that whole area is a huge double bed the great thing about that is you can actually leave that made up all the time if you want so you could have that as a fixed double bed pilt pi uh, sorry quilt pillows everything on there um, and then you can use this area as your dining area so there's plenty of options with this van um, but let me show you the electric bed just here because this 
is fantastic. So for your controls, you've got just up here, you've got the control for your electric bed. So up and down and it comes with a little key for safety so people don't just press it uh, willy nilly. Uh, and this is your control panel so you can turn the lights on and off the pump. You can see the levels of your water, uh, fresh and wastewater tanks. So everything is uh, controlled by this little unit here, which is fantastic. Um, just to point out actually as well, in the kitchen, I did miss it. You've even got two three pin plugs here um, and lighting that goes all the way across, which again, looks really, really nice. Um, what do you think to this van guys? I mean, it's fantastic. Um, it's got a brilliant layout, U-shaped lounge, six traveling seats, under seven meters, six berth. I mean, what more do you want? So just to quickly show you how the electric bed works, obviously down is down, up is up, and let's spin around so you can have a look. So I'll just press down and then, voila, look at that. Comes down really easily. And that is a really good size bed up there as well. So it's a nice size double. Um, and kids would love that, wouldn't they? I mean, actually, if I was to take this fan, I'd probably leave that made up all the time, squash it up in the day, bring it down, and then you've still got all your seating area all around the van uh, to use. But that is a fantastic bed. And obviously this is where the ladder clips onto. So the ladder just clips onto that and you can hop up into bed, no problem at all. So then guys, what do you think of this beautiful motorhome? Six berth, six traveling seat belts, under seven meters, around 2.3 meters wide. Now, just to give you a few of the extras on this, so awning, cab air conditioning, cruise control, reversing camera, and a digital TV aerial. So it's got quite a few options on there as well, which is brilliant. Um, if you are particularly interested in this vehicle, then I have been at Choose Leisure Motorhomes in Canterbury demonstrating it. So do get in contact with them. And a link to their website is in the description below. Uh, also, if you're looking for insurance for a motorhome, so if you're wanting a quotation or something like that, then do check out A Plan, and there's a link in the description below for them as well, where you can get a free quotation for your motorhome insurance. But for now, this is the One Motorhome channel, and hopefully, guys, I'll see you soon.